All right, welcome back to the second episode of Mikey's Miracles. This week we're going to switch things up and we're going to jump into a hair related question. This week we have Mandy who asks, how much shall I cut off my hair? There's never a better time to reinvent yourself, especially right before spring. So I'm excited to help you out with this one, Mandy. Hey, so I need to get a trim. My mom usually cuts my hair and so I can tell her how much I want off. Is there any hairdressers here that can tell me the recommended amount to cut off to get healthy ends? I don't really want to cut any more off than about two inches as I want to maintain the length. Thanks. Now to the untrained eye, most people would think this answer should only last about 10 seconds, where I would simply provide you with a number of how much of your hair to cut off. I think there's a bigger story here though, Mandy. I find myself wondering, why would Mandy turn to Yahoo Answers to ask this type of question? And I think it's because for years now, your mom has been cutting your hair, same length time after time, but you're getting older now. You're turning into a woman who's discovering her own identity and she's ready to make a bold statement. Lucky for you, girlfriend, I've designed a tool to help with just this type of scenario. I call it the Mikey Jam Jam Super Duper Haircut Calculator. So this is a very simple tool. We're just gonna plug in the minimum amount of hair and the maximum amount of hair we're willing to cut off and then using advanced statistics and mathematic empirical processing, this tool is going to tell you exactly how much hair you should cut off. All right, so let's get started. I think you're going to at least want to get some healthy split ends to do this. I recommend a minimum of half an inch off. All right, that's going to get those nice split ends healthy, okay? So let's go ahead and plug that into our chart here. Now you've mentioned you don't want to take more than two inches off, and I totally respect that. This is probably the first time you're going to be making a bold statement for your mom, so we don't want to do anything too crazy. So here, we're just going to plug two inches in as our magic number of maximum hair to remove, and then the tool is going to instantly provide our final result. And boom, there we have it. As you can see, our tool recommends taking 1.75 inches off the locks. So we're close to that two inch limit, but certainly respecting it coming in at 1.75. So I'm liking the data that I'm seeing here, Mandy. I think this is a great suggestion and I would recommend going with the 1.75 inches. Now you're probably thinking, great, 1.75, that's all I need, case closed. But hold up, Mandy, not so fast. I mentioned this is part of a larger story. So if you go and tell your mom, mom, I want to take 1.75 inches off my hair. She's probably going to freak because her little girl's growing up in front of her eyes so fast. You need to realize this is probably going to be a difficult adjustment for your mom. So we need to handle this accordingly. When it comes to moms, we want to make sure we're always following the facts. And that leads us off of fact number one, moms love a good PowerPoint presentation. Therefore, Mandy, I've helped you put together such a presentation on how you can tell your mom you want to get your hair cut. I'm going to minimize myself here for a little bit so that we can still talk while going through this presentation. This looks pretty good. So we start off with just a nice little title screen. As you can see, this is a presentation for your mom. We want your mom to realize that we're thinking about her during this whole process. We're in the back of our minds, even though we're getting our hair cut, we're thinking about her. So on the next slide, we have the agenda. This is going to outline everything we're discussing but it's also gonna make you look good. She's gonna realize how well prepared you are for this presentation. So here we're gonna set our overview of why we're here. It's good to keep your audience informed and let them know up front why it is they're here today. Otherwise, your audience might be confused, they might be guessing, and you're gonna lose them. The second point is really important, so let's bring it back to full screen so we can talk face to face. Your mom clearly needs to know that you're still thinking about her and she's still going to be the one cutting your hair. So when you tell her how much hair you wanna take off, She's gonna know something is up, which brings us to fact number two. Mums always be suspicious. When she hears that you wanna take an inch and three quarters of your hair off, she's gonna translate this as, mom, I no longer need you in my life. And that's not the case. We want her to know that she's clearly going to still be involved in this haircutting process. Finally, it's good to let your audience know when these changes can expect to happen. That way they can plan and prepare accordingly. I said two weeks in this example, but it could really be whenever. Next, we want to get into our critical hair factors. This is going to outline the importance of why we need this haircut. There's really three important callouts here. The first one is hair health. A nice trim will do wonders for our split ends, get them looking nice and healthy. The second point is all about confidence. A new haircut is going to leave you feeling confident and beautiful. And third and finally, spring is just around the corner. You're not going to want that heavy helmet of hair weighing you down. As that weather warms up, you're going to want a nice, light set of locks. 
All right, let's bring it full screen again, Mandy. We're about to hit the climax of our presentation, deliver that final nail in that will really win your mom over. So let's first jump into our third and final fact before we do, which is moms love data and charts. So to really seal up this presentation, we're gonna present a nice chart that shows exactly how happy you will be with this haircut. As you can see here, this chart clearly and accurately displays your happiness based on the amount of hair that you will be cutting. And more importantly, notice how our chart findings here align exactly with the calculations provided in the Mikey Jam Jam Super Duper haircut calculator. It clearly shows that once you cut 1.75 inches of hair, that is when you will reach max happiness. If you cut anything more or less, you're not gonna be as happy. And this graph will really drive this home with your mom. All she wants is for her little girl to be happy. And if she can see that you're 100% happiness level, is that 1.75 inches of hair being removed? She's gonna be one over. Now your mom's gonna be blown away at this point, not just by the fact that you wanna make a bold statement by taking off a little more hair, but also just how well prepared and put together you were with this presentation. She's gonna be incredibly impressed. At this point, I think it's great to wrap up with a question slide. Your audience is very likely gonna have questions at this point, so the slide will give them a chance to ask any questions they've been saving for the end. All right, Mandy, I know that was a lot to cover, but thanks for going through that with me. The good news is I have your back, so I'm gonna leave a copy of the Mikey Jam Jam Super Duper Haircut Calculator and this presentation so you can print out these slides and practice, prepare that final presentation for your mom. She's gonna be blown away, she's gonna love it. I'm excited for you and your mom, and I think this haircut is a great idea. Spring is just around the corner, so why not get a new do? All right, Mandy, I wish you and your mom both the best. Good luck with the haircut. You two take care and God bless.